Okay, welcome to the uh, Drupal Beginners tutorial provided by MasterFlash.net. Uh, this video is only a sample video showing you bits and pieces of what is a part of this tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drop you in probably about midway through part two, and uh, it's just the ending explanation of URL aliases um, and uh, the creation of contact forms. All right, uh, there's a lot of stuff involved in this one. This is just what we're showing you. Check it out. So that is where you can really benefit from this. Um, you know, on occasion, uh, search engines do refer to keywords in the actual address path, address path. All right, so it's definitely helpful. And uh, of course, as you set up, you know, going after site links on uh, search engines, which basically when they display the results for your homepage, it obviously shows, you know, um, a listing of links and stuff like that. It's, it's just, it's extremely beneficial to use the URL aliases, all right? And I wouldn't harp on that so much, but it is very important, and um, I would definitely suggest using that at all times, no matter what content you're creating. Replace the alias, all right? All right. So let's go back and have a little discussion on the uh, modules side of things. All right, now, in a little bit, we're going to go and get a module uh, just for the time being. and I'm going to show you how to install one module. All right, but there's a couple things that we have to do first, and we've got to run cron. I want to show you that and explain to you what that means. Um, we're going to turn on a whole bunch of stuff here, and I'm going to show you how to make use of it because, in a, in a sense, is what we have to do. I want to show you how to use the blog. Uh, I want to show you how to use the forum and all sorts of good stuff. Okay, but I just want to roll through a few things. <clears throat> now, of course, you know, one of the most important things that you're going to want to have a part of this is a contact form, all right, to allow somebody to contact you directly through the website. So what we should do is go ahead and turn this module on, and what we'll do is we'll just kind of knock this out one at a time, all right? So if I hit this and check this off, all right, I need to come down and, and, and save configuration. And what that's going to do is that's going to, of course, you know, tell us it's been saved. And then what we can do is in our site building, you can see that this module is automatically showed up inside of our site building menu. All right. So if we click on this, what we can then do is actually add a category. All right. Now, categories, the way that the Drupal core system works. All right. When we add one of these and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I add a category. All right. We can call this, you know, I'm going to call this global master flash corporation contact all right the recipients this is who we want it to show up as for example if I wanted this to show up inside of my you know support email I'm just gonna put support at masterflash.net all right if you want to add an email it's as simple as adding a comma and then of course putting support at masterflash1.net all right and then automatically that's where it's gonna save it now of course we have to save this but when I submit this, emails are going to get sent to both of these emails. All right. So obviously, you know, if you have a couple of people that you want to get notified, you know, like if you're out of town, you can always add somebody else's email on top of yours and let them handle the feedback or response or questions or, or whatever needs to happen. All right. So that's basically what this is. And when we fill out the category, what the category is going to do is basically going to be the subject line of the email when it is sent. All right. And of course, you have the auto reply. So anytime somebody hits submit, you can basically say, yo, I got your email. Give us a minute to respond. All right. Or respond. OK, so that's it. Um, we don't really need to use this. It's, it's not a big deal. Uh, the way is, again, is just how you can set the hierarchy of how you want your categories displayed. You'll, you'll see what I'm saying in a minute. We're going to create another category in a minute. All right. Um, set this to yes. I'll, I'll get into this in a second. So if I save this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this here. All right. I'm just going to hit save. OK, so we have to create a menu link to this contact form because this isn't a specific web page. All right. So this is, you know, kind of ridiculous for me to do, but what we're looking at right here in our navigation, where would we go to add a link to one of our menus to go to the contact form? All right. Again, we're looking in site building. All right. We've got our options for our menus. 
So the menus is where you control your site's navigation, right? So we click on that. <clears throat> We've got options to add, all right? Navigation, primary links, secondary links. Now the secondary links right now are turned off, okay? The primary links, again, are these links up here where the home and about sit, okay? So it would probably be pretty wise to add it over here. Uh, the navigation, if we wanted to add it to the navigation, we would click this. And then, of course, if we enter the, the menu path, okay, it's going to show up in here somewhere. So let's go ahead and add this to our primary links up here, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit primary links. All right, and what we need to do is we need to add an item. So we're going to click add item. I'm going to type the path. Now here, you could essentially just type contact, all right? Smart, pretty. Uh, is it the right thing to do? Probably not. All right. You really want to, you know, embed this path. So you want to say oops.com forward slash contact. And then of course the menu title, you know, contact us. All right. And then of course you can put a description. What the description is going to be is if, you know, once they roll their hand over here, see how it says welcome to master flash corporation as a tool tip. Well, if we could say, you know, here is where you can contact us via email. All right. And then, of course, menu items that are not enabled will be listed in any menu. Okay. Anyway. Okay. We just want this enabled. Uh, primary uh, apparent item. We want primary links. All right. We're going to set the weight on this one. I'm actually going to put this one at, um, I'm going to put this at, I'll put this at one for the weight. All right. I'm going to show you something different. Now, I know, yeah, you can see it. All right. So I'm just going to select one right here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. All right, so now obviously we've got contact us up here. But the problem with that, with the contact form, is if we hit contact us, that's not a very good example. Let me bring in another browser real quick. I'm just going to uh, copy this real quick. Just give me a second. All right, so check it out, all right? Um, yeah, I was doing some research, by the way, to see if I could show Windows users how to open it, and I just figured, why not give you the text trick that we use, but um, that's basically what that is. Um, so the form, the contact form, if I hit enter, check out what happens. And I'm not logged in using you know, the admin, all right? Because I'm using a different browser, it's just gonna register as something different, all right? Okay, so this uh, access denied, I'm not logged in, okay? So we have to figure out how to change that. Now we've turned on a module, but we haven't set the permissions, okay? Very important to remember, anytime you turn on a module, you absolutely have to set the permissions so people can access whatever you're trying to do, all right? So let's go ahead and, and do that before I go ahead and submit this, all right? So we're gonna go to administer, and what we need to do is we need to find user management. All right, user management is going to come down here, and we're going to set permissions. All right, so what we've got right now is we've got authenticated user, which is, you know, you and I, we're the admin, okay? But also, an authenticated user is somebody who comes and signs up for an account, all right? An anonymous user is somebody who doesn't have an account, just a regular visitor that just happens to find your web page, all right? That's an anonymous user. All right, obviously, if you look through here, you, they can access the content, and I think that's all they have set up. Yep, that's it, okay? And as you add modules, okay, it's also gonna add permissions for each individual module. So what you need to make sure that you do is that any time that you turn on a module, come to the permissions, make sure that it's one of those modules that needs to be accessed, all right? And by the way, you never wanna set administrator access, all right? See this administrator site-wide contact form? You do not want to allow somebody to administer that. Not even here, not even here, all right? All you want to let them do is access site-wide contact form. So we need to select this, and we need to select this, all right? Basically giving permissions to people who come and sign up, and basically giving permissions to comp complete strangers, all right? So if I save this, and I bring back this uh, access denied page, well, what happens if I hit refresh? All right, I can now use a contact form, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in my name and put uh, the cleaner, just 
as a name. Okay, this is, this is just showing you that people are going to be able to do this and not actually enter their name. Uh, for the email that I'm going to use, I'm just going to use support at masterclash. Figured I'd be able to spell my site name after 10 years. Uh, support at masterflash1.net, subject A, first contact. And then, of course, I can put uh, message. What can I put in here? Hey, this is my first contact form in Drupal. All right, so then again, all I have to do is just hit send email. All right, it tells us that it's you know, been sent. It returns us to the home page. Okay, so uh, hang tight. I'm going to go get that email. Okay, so I went into my Outlook, and of course, I pulled up the email. All right. And uh, what we're doing is we're saying from support at masterflash.net on behalf of support at masterflash1.net. All right. So basically saying, you know, to the, my username, because I'm the administrator, saying, hey, the cleaner, send a message from the, or no, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Since I filled out the cleaner in my name, it says send a message using the contact form here. Okay. And then, of course, hey, this is my message that I put in here. And then, of course, the title of the category that we gave in the contact form. And then, of course, it shows the subject line. All right. So on top of that, since we did set an auto reply, which, by the way, I can't stand auto replies. Uh, what it does is it just says, yo, we got your email. Give us a minute to respond. Right. So we can basically, you know, set up auto replies and all that good stuff. So that's it. You know, we turn on a module. We set the permissions. We use the contact form. All right, so let's kind of get back into a little further of the uh, actual contact form. I'll leave that page up though for a minute. All right, so if we come into uh, site building, go back to contact form, what happens if we add another category? All right, we add a category. We can put this, um, you know, we want to learn about your services. All right, we put our recipients in here. All right, I'm not going to set an auto reply on this one. Um, and of course, the way select, okay, okay, so let's say that somebody goes to the contact form after we create this, all right? We want this one to be the main subject line or the main, you know, selection for it. So if I hit yes, hit save, and we go back to the contact form, check out what happens. It's selecting, it's, it's setting up a category, all right? And by, since I selected yes a second ago, it's setting this one by default. All right, it's either a global contact form, which doesn't make any sense, or it's we want to learn about your services, right? So again, if I go ahead and post this, I can just put a subject, I want to learn, all right? And then of course, in our messages, we can just put, uh, do you have any literature? All right, and then of course, it allows, you know, authenticated users to send copies of themselves, okay, and all that jazz, all right? Um, and again, check out what happens. It, of course, you know, shows up over here, too, all right? Just allows us to choose things. All right, so let me get that back out of here. All right, so if I want to send myself a copy, I can, but I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and hit send email. And again, gives us the message that's been sent. Hang on a sec. Okay, so basically what that does, again, it just throws in the subject or the category into the subject line. And then, of course, it just puts, you know, my actual username since I sent it as admin. Okay, do you have any literature? All right, and then of course it throws, I want to learn it, okay? So um, that's basically what happens with the categories. It just allows you to create, you know, let's go back to it. Um, you know, for example, that is the end of the Drupal for Beginners tutorial sample video. Uh, to get your hands on the source files and view the entire tutorial, go ahead and head towards masterflash.net and uh, you'll be able to locate our Drupal section. Hope you enjoy it.